Now in this video I'm going to show you how I go about fitting door and drawer handles um, to a large number of cabinets. Um, the best way to do that if you want to end up with a neat job and everything looks even and uniform then uh, you need to make yourself a template and that's what we're going to talk about today is how to make a template for drawer and door handles so that when you finish the job everything is aligned and looks nice and neat. First thing you have to do is get your handle and position it on the door more or less where you want it and then once you've decided on a position then you need to put some marks on the door with a pencil which can be easily rubbed off later. I'll show you the marks that I put on the door so that I can set up my template on the first door. Now in this case uh, we've decided to put the door handle in the middle of this batten on the door and halfway between top and bottom so that makes it pretty easy. So the first thing we do is find our midway on the door and then with a square off the edge of the door we mark that level and then once we've got that level then we decide we decided to go in the middle of this batten so I measured the batten width the batten width is 8 so I need to draw a line at 4 which I've done there and drop this line down uh, extending it a little way past the middle there because when I mark my template I want this line to show up on either end of the template now for the template what you need is some sort of material. I like to use metal because it lasts better and you don't uh, distort it that easily. Um, but you need something that's got a bit of a lip on it like this. And the reason for that is that lip is going to give you a stop on the end of the door like that. So you can slide it up and down and move it to where you want to. But it's stopped against the door so you've got the same position every time. I've cut this out of a piece of aluminium plate uh, but you could quite easily make it out of plastic. I found this on the edge of a tub. It's got a nice ridge there that could be used uh, to stop it against the door like that. But I, as I said I prefer metal because after you've drilled a few times in plastic you can widen the holes a little bit and then your template's not so accurate anymore. So now I take my template and I measure its length. It's about 16 and a half, somewhere around about eight and a quarter is where I want to make a mark. That'll give me about the center of the template. Now I line up my template so that that center line on the template is lined up with my line on the door. And then I also make a mark uh, on the front here so that I can get a something on this side as well and then I'll mark this line there and there so that I've got that lined up then I'll draw those lines on the template and then we'll take it to the workshop and drill some holes. Now before we go drilling any holes in our template uh, we need to know exactly how far apart these holes are on the handle and uh, usually uh, the manufacturers will put it on the label of the handle and you can see in this case uh, it's 128 millimeters center to center of those holes so it's important to know this before you start drilling any holes in your template and uh, I'll show you how we use that number uh, in a while. Uh, I always just check it because you never know what dimensions they're describing there so I'll use a, a vernier gauge or a tape and then I'll just check uh, roughly to see that that's what I'm dealing with so I'd put it I'd put it like that at 128 set on the vernier and that lines up perfectly so that's great. 
Right, now the next thing I do is take a center punch and line it up on that central cross there between those two lines. Give it a whack. And then I use that as my center now to find my other two points. So now I'll have to divide 128 by 2 to get my other two points because this is the halfway mark. So we've got to get to 64. That's good enough. Alright, so now I've set it at 64 and I'll put my one point on that punch hole that I've put there already. And then I mark my other point like that. And then I do the same on the other side. Mark that point. And then I always check back to 128 on your vernier and put it on that point and that point and they lining up perfectly so that's great then I take my center punch one there one there now before you do any drilling on your template you've got to determine the size of the little bolt that screws into the handle and keeps the handle in place and uh, in some cases it's written on the label but in this case it's not so I'll have to measure the diameter of that bolt and then choose a drill of suitable size now I normally choose something about a half a millimeter wider uh, than uh, that bolt these bolts are also very long so you have to cut them to the length that you need usually about four millimeters goes into the thread so what you need to do is measure the thickness of your door Add that on to the four millimeters and then cut the bolt there. So let's measure this bolt and see more or less what size it is. Yeah, it's going to read a bit less uh, because of the thread. So it's a four millimeter bolt. So I'll go to about four and a half millimeter drill uh, so that I've got a little bit of leeway in case my holes aren't exactly in the right place. And then it's a matter of drilling the holes. And there we go, we've got our three holes lined up perfectly. And uh, we just got to clean up this burr on the back here because that can scratch your cabinet. So I'll spend a bit of time with a file just to smooth that down. Okay. Right, now there's my template. I've drilled all the holes. And it's always a good idea just to check uh, before you go and drill holes in your cabinet uh, that they line up, that the holes you've drilled line up with the holes in the handles and that's pretty good I think. Now with your template you don't have to draw all these other lines once you've got your template made all you have to do is have that center line lined up with this line and this and this lip on your template lined up with the edge of the door. Once you've got those two things lined up then the rest is automatic after that. Right then you line up your template up against the edge of the door with the lip on the template and then you move it until you can see this line through the center of that center hole in the template. Once you've got that everything's lined up and then you put a block of wood behind it and you clamp it in place and then you drill the other two holes. Uh, it's important to have that block of wood behind because the exit hole of the drill on the inside is going to splinter the wood if you don't have that block of wood there. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Right, let's do that. Here we are, I've clamped everything in place. So now it's time to drill. I always put my pressure with my finger here so that it can't move when I'm drilling. So you don't drill that hole obviously, but incidentally, if you're putting on knobs instead of handles, uh, then you drill that hole because the knobs only have one bolt. So uh, this template can be used for knobs as well as handles. So keep the template because uh, the, the handles come in standard sizes. So you may use this size again somewhere in the future. Right, let's do the drilling. It runs through. Let's make sure everything's in place.
Then we'll take the clamp off, remove the template. And if you look now at the back here, you can see how neat those exit holes are. And I'll show you uh, one that's been drilled uh, without the scrap wood at the back. Uh, and you'll see how untidy it is. This hole here was drilled without having uh, wood at the back and that's what the exit hole looks like, very untidy. Okay, now before I put the handle on, uh, it's a good idea to just use an ordinary eraser and remove uh, the pencil marks. Just makes it a lot easier if you do it before you put the handle on. But don't do it before you've drilled the holes, obviously. Here we go. Right, now to put the handles on, I've already um, shortened these screws to the correct length. So we can just push them through the holes. As I said, I go in a half a millimeter wider than the actual screw, just so that they fit in nice and easily. And then uh, you just get a screwdriver, line these up like that. Right, that's one done. And then we've just got to get this one lined up. And there we go. Job done. Now because my template is symmetrical, uh, all I have to do is flip it over so that it comes on this side and everything's the same. Line it up again on that, that line. Make sure it's in there. Get your block of wood behind. Clamp it into place. Build the holes again. Now the beauty of having a template is it just makes the rest of the job just go very smoothly and you end up with a very accurate result uh, because you're working off a template. Nothing's out of line, you can't make any mistakes with your measurements or anything like that. So all you have to do, for instance, if I was going to put handles on all of these drawers, the first thing I'd do is set them up so that they are lined correctly and uh, do some adjusting until this gap's even and the gap up the side here is even and they're hanging perfectly in a line so that when I put my handles on they're also in a line. If you align them after you've put your handles on you may get the handles out of line because uh, the drawers have moved slightly. So it's important to get that all set up uh, before you start and then all you have to do uh, in a case like this because I'm working off the center of my template I only need one line, so I pull my tape across, measure it, that's 80. I make a line at 40. And then a little shortcut that I use is I take a spirit level, put it on that line, get it all level, and then mark the other two. And then it goes quickly. So once you've put your line there, you just have to line it up with the center hole in your template so that that line goes through the middle. Then you put your block of wood behind, clamp it. And then what we do is one person uh, does all the drilling with the template. Another person comes behind and fits the handles and it goes very, very quickly like that. And the end result, because you're using a template, is very neat and everything's lined up and it looks great. So there we go. There's the job done. All nice and neat. And if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Just scroll right down to the bottom. You'll find the comment section there. Thank you very much for watching.